Connection established. Welcome. Did you ever thought about transforming your home in smart home? And also to do that cheap? NodeMCU and Home Assistant are here to help about that. Today I'll show you some examples of what you can do with the Home Assistant and NodeMCU. This will be a longer video than usual. It will take some time to make all this work, but with a great outcome on the end. Result on the end of this project is for presentational purposes, but can be improved with more effort to be used as solid smart home system. I will connect all the electronics to Node MCU, add life to them with the help of programming, install Home Assistant on my PC, and establish communication between Node MCU and Home Assistant with the help of MQTT protocol. I will try to make it as simple as possible. I will show you all parts I'll use here, prices and where to get them. Links will be in the description below. Here I'm holding two breadboards, one dollar each on eBay. On the breadboards is known MCU dev kit that I talked about in two previous videos. Check them if you are interested in know MCU details. Links are in top right corner. Price of now MCU is three dollars on eBay. To be able to place board and all the electronics anywhere around the house, I'll use a data 10,000 mAh lithium ion power bank with a price of $30 on Amazon. Of course, here is USB to micro USB cable for uploading programs and to power the Node MCU. As input electronics, I'll use few LEDs and a relay for switching on and off the light bulb. As input electronics, I'll use button, temperature sensor, motion sensor, magnetic switch, and a photoresistor. To make it easier for you to follow, I made connection sketches using Fritzing software that is open source project for creating very nice sketches and schemes for electronics. Find the link in the description if you are interested. I won't show you the final sketch of this project yet, because it is quite messy. Let's go part by part. First, I took one button, one LED, one 10 kilo ohm resistor and one 100 ohm resistor to add just a little bit resistance to current so LED stays alive and here are also a few wires. Then connected everything accordingly to this sketch and opened platform IO project inside Atom text editor where I wrote program in C++ to test if LED will turn on when I press button and turn off when I press it again. If you're not familiar with Platform IO and Atom, please check my previous video with the title starting with Node MCU. Link is in the top right corner. In the final code, we will need to include one wire Dallas temperature ESP8266 Wi Fi and pub sub client libraries in main CPP, so I added them right now. To see complete C++ program that is uploaded to Node MCU, please follow link in the description below. I uploaded program for button to Node MCU, and the result is good. When button is pressed, LED is turned on, and when a button is pressed again, LED is turned off. Because I was using delays to turn off LED, I need to hold button for one second, but it's okay. That part is done. Let's start with another. I'll need a temperature sensor. This is Dallas DS18B20 that I got on eBay for $1. Then 4.7 kilo ohm resistor and a few wires. Let's add the things together like on this sketch. Now, let's add motion sensor. Its price is around $2 on eBay. I'll use one LED, 100 ohm resistor and wires. Let's connect it again, like on this sketch. For next part, I'll need photo resistor. Price is one dollar for thirty pieces on eBay. Two LEDs, one ten kilo ohm resistor, and two one hundred ohm resistors and wires. Let's connect it. 
easiest thing to connect this magnetic switch. I couldn't stick wires in breadboard, so I soldered two additional wires. One wire goes to digital pin and another wire to ground. And that's it. For the end, let's add relay. Its price on eBay is around $2. I'll need three wires for relay, light bulb with its connector, cable and a plug. If you're planning to use AC voltage, please be careful working with it, because it is dangerous. Connect it like on sketch and we are done with the hardware stuff. Now connect Node MCU to PC, open C++ program and set yours SSID name and password, also Home Assistant Server IP. Check for errors and if everything is ok, upload the code to Node MCU. If you are using platform IO in Atom like me, to see how to upload code to Node MCU, check my last video. Link is up on the right. Ok, code is now uploaded to Node MCU. Let's install Home Assistant Server. I will install it on Windows 10. Before we start installing Home Assistant, we need to install Python. So let's click on link which will take us to Python website. I will download for 64 bit Windows and install. Now let's continue with Home Assistant installation. Go to Home Assistant web page and let's find and follow instruction steps for Windows installation. Let's open command line and enter commands. They are quite simple. I will install in a Python virtual environment because I'm not using Windows just for Home Assistant. It will take around 20 minutes to install it. So be patient. Now, if you ask yourself how to open Home Assistant UI, answer is very simple. You need to know your local IP. You can check it in command line by typing ipconfig, copy it and add port 8123 on the end and open it in browser. In my case that's 10.0.2.15 colon 8123. Be sure that Home Assistant is up and running. That's it. After UI is loaded, we will set user account, set home name and edit additional options as you want. Finish it and we are done with it. I've prepared UI configuration, so please check Home Assistant configuration on link in description below. You can play around and make your own schedule of UI, or you can just copy configuration that I put down in description. So let's copy it, paste over old one and save. Next thing, Home Assistant have configuration file where we will add sensors, light and set MQTT protocol. In description is also linked to that configuration file, so find it and let's check it out fast. Be careful when writing configuration because it is space sensitive and one wrong space will cause error. First, I added light that will be used for controlling the light over relay, that from used will be MQTT. MQTT is message queuing telemetry transport publish subscribe based messaging protocol. It's awesome because it uses very little of network bandwidth. If you want to find out more about it, check link. We need to add command topic. I called it in light and in node MCU program we will subscribe ourselves to that topic. Payload is basically a character message that will be sent on certain trigger. In our case, when I want to turn on light bulb, we'll press button and message with payload 0 will be sent to Home Assistant Server 
through MQTT Broker to Node MCU. Next are sensors. Platform is also MQTT. Topic is state. Sensors will publish its readings from Node MCU through MQTT Broker to Home Assistant server. So it is opposite of subscribe. And we can do nothing without MQTT Broker that is middleman in communication. To find configuration file inside Home Assistant, go to Start, Search and type percentage app data percentage. Press Enter and you will see a folder called dot Home Assistant. Open it and there is configuration file. Now replace it with one we just looked at. Save and reload Home Assistant. After that you should see Home Assistant UI look like this. Ok. We are finally done. Now, make sure Home Assistant is running. Let's give power to Node MCU if it is not already connected. And then plug light bulb and we are ready. After you give power to Node MCU, it should take few seconds to connect to your SSID. So wait a little bit and then press blue button. When blue LED is on, data from sensors should now appear on Home Assistant UI and update itself around every second. If we press blue button and turn blue LED off, all sensors will stop sending data. That is just how I programmed it, because of presentational purposes. Let's try to turn light bulb on. And it is working. Turn it off. Very nice. Everything is working. For the end, let me show you how to set up Home Assistant on Android smartphone. On Android, open web browser and type Home Assistant server IP and add port 8123. Here I was using Home Assistant on my another PC, so IP is different. Here is 192.168.1.7. Enter the one that you wrote inside the Node MCU program and press three dots for options in web browser and add to home screen. Now you should have Home Assistant as app on your smartphone. Let's open it. And you can see it's working smoothly. Data is changing and light is turning on and off as expected. Project done. Without power bank, which is additional thing and cost $30, all other costs for this project were slightly above $10. That's insane. It took some time for all the electronics to arrive after I ordered them from eBay. It was a little bit tiring project, but it was worth because of the final result, with which I'm really happy. If you take more time and add more effort to write a better program, you can improve this smart home system insanely. And that's it. I hope you learned something new and found useful information in this video. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to like it, and if you want to see more content like this, subscribe. Good luck!